When Europeans first colonised New Zealand, the landscape was so rugged and beautiful that you had to see it to believe it. Local councils hired artists to travel the country and draw pictures of the stunning scenery. These paintings were then shown overseas, a bit like ads. The whole idea was to attract the attention of new settlers. And 120 years later, this one caught the attention of Te Papa. You could say it's false advertising, because this painting by Nicolas Chevalier does not reflect reality. He's combined two different landscapes from among the 300 watercolours he painted on his journey around New Zealand. As you can see, the waka in the watercolour are actually on Paikokariki Beach, uh, appear again almost in exact the same configuration in the oil painting. And he has moved them further up the coast in order to align them with the view of Kapiti Island, which he has repeated, which is in this watercolour. Also the wave uh, that appears in this particular watercolour are there again in the painting. You'd find that was typical of most artists at that time. We, we're probably not seeing the actual scene from an oil, in an oil painting. These two would have been much more direct, the two watercolours. He travelled most of New Zealand either in a, in a carriage or on horseback. And of course, you couldn't create an oil painting on, a, on horseback but he had his sketch pad. It was fortunate that Chevalier made these watercolours to help jog his memory. After all, it was 20 years later that he finally completed this oil painting.